What better way to start things off than by telling people to bite your shiny metal, well, you know. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst crimes Bender has committed. Kill all humans. Must kill all humans. Bender, wake up! For this list, we're looking at some of the most heinous things Bender has done, whether it was out of sheer negligence and hostility or because he just thought it was funny. That's her, officers! That's the woman who programmed me for evil! <laughs> Number 10, breaking up with the ship. This relationship was about as disastrous as the Titanic. Huh, <laughs> get it? No, really, this was pretty bad. In the episode Love and Rocket, Bender hooks up with the Planet Express spaceship after its operating system is given a sexy female voice. If you don't like the stations, you could just play with my buttons till you find something we both enjoy. <laughs> oh gosh, that came out all wrong. Delay, baby, you said it. So will it be my place? Or you. Things take a turn for the worse when the ship wants to get serious and Bender begins leading her on. It isn't until the middle of a dangerous delivery that Bender finally breaks up with the ship. This might not be the best time, but well, I really like you and whatever, but I think we should just be friends. Which isn't exactly the most appropriate time to do so, but we suppose better late than never, maybe? What crazy thing am I gonna date next? Number nine, posting pictures of Amy online. If our internet were like the VR version we see in Futurama, we'd probably witness a lot more heinous things than our few measly tabs allow us to focus on. Good news, everyone. Several years ago, I tried to log on to AOL, and it just went through. Amy got to experience this firsthand in the episode A Bicyclops Built for Two, when the Planet Express crew steps inside the web to have some fun. Behold, the internet! Full of ads. However, Amy soon finds lewd photos of herself and learns that Bender was the one who leaked them. Not only that, he cropped Amy's face over Leela's body. Way to kill two birds with one stone, Bender. Hey, that's me! No, it isn't. I just took some pictures of your face and stuck them on someone else's body. Hey! Number eight, making the entire world drunk. After putting the professor's replicator machine inside his chest, Bender gains the ability to reproduce miniature versions of himself and uses them to do his tasks while he lazes around. Fold these two sweaters. I'm, I'm sorry, do you see a robot in this room named, named Folder? <laughs> Damn, you're cute. Of course, it all gets out of hand when the miniature versions start replicating themselves for the same reason. Yep, yep, yep. The Benders eventually get so small that they're able to restructure molecules and proceed to turn the world's supply of water into alcohol. Bender gets an infinite supply of fuel while the entire world stumbles and slurs like a pack of drunkards. Hey, you. <laughs> Good evening. Who are you calling drunk? You're not drunk, I'm drunk. That's right, Linda. Water is not. Now, booze. He may have saved Earth from a monster, but after putting everyone through a terrible hangover, we're surprised he hasn't been dismantled yet. Number seven, cheating on Iron Cook. One of Bender's aspirations in life is to be a great, well-respected chef whose dishes are as good as Elzar's. Brace yourselves, Bender is making us brunch. <gasps> oh, boy. oh God, my tract! But when he asks Elzar to teach him, the celebrity chef refuses, and Bender is forced to seek help from Helmet Spargle a once reputable chef who seeks revenge against Elzar. Bargle, you're fired. We need a chef who can attract today's younger, more extreme cooking show viewer. Elzar! Get lost, old man. Bam! Mein souffle! As Spargle dies, ironically from Bender's horrible cooking, he hands him a bottle of mysterious liquid, saying it will help him win the Iron Cook Challenge. And using this, you cannot fail. Bender could have tried winning on his own merits, but to no one's surprise, he cheats with the magic ingredient. He also may not have known that the liquid was just water laced with LSD at the time, but that doesn't take away from the fact that the robot still willingly gave himself an unfair advantage and allowed himself to win the competition on an immoral basis. The challenger's ugly food has shown us that even hideous things can be sweet on the inside. <laughs> Number six, giving a PSA. The last thing Bender should ever get is a platform to speak his own thoughts. Down with Bender! Down with Bender! Good thing he doesn't have Twitter. Alas, it was only a matter of time before he got a spotlight on TV. 
In the appropriately named episode, Bender Should Not Be Allowed on TV, a foul-mouthed robot gives a PSA regarding his behavior. Do smoking and drinking on TV really make me cool? Of course they do. How about committing crimes and violence? Again, the answer is yes. Predictably, instead of telling kids to not be impressionable and commit crimes, he tells them that smoking and violence is cool and that parents should abuse their kids. How does Bender live with himself without any moral compass? Have you ever tried simply turning off the TV, sitting down with your children, and hitting them? Number 5. Spilling Oil You'd think that a sad Bender would somehow be less dangerous, but you'd be wrong. Would you cram a sock in it, Bender? Those aren't even metals. They're bottle caps and pepperoni slices. While delivering a tank filled with dark matter, Bender gets into a heated argument with Fry, which makes him depressed and causes him to get sober. I mean Captain, please, have some liquor. You robots need alcohol to function. As a result, he carelessly flies the tanker onto Pluto, collides with an iceberg, and spills all of the dark matter fuel into the water. And to think, all of this was because of a fight with a friend. At least this was one of the few instances where Bender learned some kind of lesson and was punished for his misdeeds. Son, as your lawyer, I declare y'all are in a 12-piece bucket of trouble. But I done struck you a deal. Five hours of community service cleaning up that old mess you caused. Five hours? Oh, man! Number 4. Stealing the Miss Universe Tiara Given that Bender is a standard bending unit and therefore mass-produced, you would think that he'd be able to frame other units for his crimes with little trouble. Unsurprisingly, he's done it before in the episode The Lesser of Two Evils, where he meets Flexo, another bending unit whose only unique feature is a metal goatee. When Flexo joins the crew to deliver a piece of jumbonium for the Miss Universe pageant, Bender takes advantage of Fry's mistrust towards Flexo to steal the atom. Bender, lock down the ship! Don't let Flexo escape! Aye aye, Captain! It appears that Flexo has outwitted us all, especially me, Bender. In other words, he used his best friend's stupidity for his own personal gain. How low can Bender get? You stole the atom? Yeah, but I can explain. It's very valuable. I saw him snatch it while Fry was asleep. That's why I ran to tell Bob Barker. Number 3. Ruining Everyone's Heaven After the extraterrestrial known as Yevo proposes to Earth, humanity leaves their homes to reside on the heavenly planet. This place makes Nutley look like crap. However, not everyone is living in an eternal paradise, most notably Bender. Upon receiving a message from Fry, Bender takes it upon himself to rescue his friend. Bender, stop destroying heaven! Shut up, Doofy! I'm rescuing you! <coughs> but because Yevo made Earth promise to never speak to other universes after their marriage, Bender's invasion exposes Fry's message and causes all of mankind to be booted off Yevo. I didn't think that- No, you didn't. You broke your promise. And you broke my heart. Just go! All of you! This inadvertently causes strain between everyone else's relationships, too. So, he not only ruined heaven for his best friend, but for an entire planet. No wonder Yevo got away. <laughs> <laughs> 2. Flushing Nibbler Down the Toilet We can give Bender a little bit of credit behind some of his misdemeanors. At least he had reasons to do what he's done. This, on the other hand, was downright childish. Pet him in makeup. No! I said pet him. I'll pet him. I'll pet him with both hands! When he notices the amount of attention Nibbler gets, Bender quickly grows jealous to the point where he begins to resent the little guy. Hey, look at Nibbler! Oh, he's holding a spoon! This eventually leads to Bender flushing Nibbler down the toilet without considering Leela's feelings. Happy birthday! As punishment, he's programmed with a chip that's synced with Leela's emotions, forcing him to feel what she feels every moment. Seriously, man, you didn't have to like Nibbler, but sending him packing was cruel. I can't live another minute without poor sweet Nibbler. Aw, oh, Bender, if you weren't a cartoon robot, you'd be such a problem. But you are, so you're just funny. However, there's one crime committed by our favorite shiny metal guy that rises above the rest as the worst. So before we convict Bender of his worst crime, here are some honorable or dishonorable mentions. Yeah! Yeah! All right, environment, you've met your match. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta get this notch up knocking on film. Hey, Elzar, think fast! Why the hell? Oh, my eye! I'm blind! 
Where's all my change? I gave you a hundred. No, you gave me a fifty. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Hey, you trying to steal from the Don Bot? I'm trying, but he's not making it easy. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Tricking a planet into worshipping him In the episode of Pharaoh to Remember, Fry, Leela, and Bender make a delivery to Osiris IV, a planet that lives in the same culture as ancient Egypt. You are now slaves of the great Pharaoh Hamenthotep. Guards? Call it a hunch, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Unfortunately, they quickly find themselves enslaved and forced to build pyramids. Shortly after their current pharaoh is entombed, Bender makes a few alterations to the planet's wall of prophecy, tricking them into believing he is the next pharaoh. It indicates that we are here, and our next pharaoh is over there near some tents. Those are waves, jackass! It's supposed to be a river! Not only does he treat the people with little dignity, he also commands them to build a massive statue of himself. If there was any moment that proves just how selfish the alcoholic android is, it was this. Remember me! I will. I will. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.